Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about more of the recent moves. And what we have is Marcus Sherrills was re-signed to a one-year deal, so we don't have to worry about the return man problem. Although he is technically a corner, although I would still say the, the only four corners on the roster at the moment are Rhodes, Alexander, Waynes, and Horace Richardson, who I don't even expect to be on the roster anyway, because he might be practice squatted or just not brought back to a degree. Well, or not make final cuts, you know, that kind of sort of deal. Um, they are reportedly trying to bring back Terrence Newman, which would tremendously just open up the entire draft. Because then we wouldn't necessarily be pigeonholed into drafting a defensive back because there are some concerns about Mac Alexander. But if you have Newman, those concerns are a little, eh, maybe not so much. As long as Newman doesn't hit a wall because he's 40 years old. And um, so that would really be a benefit, though, to not have to worry about it as much during the draft to worry about that nickel corner spot. Although they could still address it. I don't think it's it's not going to be forced. And um, some of the bigger news that happened literally just today was uh, they signed receiver Kendall Wright. He was with the Bears and the Titans for a little bit there. And uh, last year in his lone season with the Bears, had 59 catches on 91 targets. That's good for a 64.8 catch percentage. He had 614 yards at 10.4 average yards per catch although only had one touchdown. Now, these aren't bad numbers necessarily for what's going to be, at best, our number three receiver. So this is not a bad player to have. I talked about him before. I thought he was a guy that we could be interested in, and here he is. So, but I doubt they're going to draft a wide receiver high with this signing because now you say, okay, we got Thielen, Diggs, Wright should be in there in the third spot. And then hope Treadwell comes on and or Stacy Coley. I have I'm optimistic about Caleb Jones, though. He was on the practice squad last year. I think he can play a similar role to what Treadwell was supposed to play and play it a lot more effectively. So I think the receiver spot is pretty much it's good for this year at least. They could look to draft a guy later or the mid rounds, but I wouldn't expect one in the first three rounds. And in the final news, this is going to be a shorter video, by the way, because it's more of a dead period. But the Raiders cut Marquette King today, and almost immediately there were just reports about Minnesota inquiring about his services. And to me, Marquette would be a he would be an instant upgrade over Ryan Quigley. Although Quigley it wasn't bad, he he was kind of efficient. He just doesn't have the leg where if we have to punt from our own side of the field, it won't get to the other side all the time. Oh, well, I mean, deep in our territory, it's probably going to be around there 40 Marquette King. And we're probably talking there 40. So, but most of the time you're not punting from that far back. But this, this would allow our defense to constantly play with the offense always backed up if we got Marquette King. So this would be a different kind of defensive weapon because then we would have we would be forcing teams to drive all the way down the field on our defense almost every time they got the ball. So this would be a I think this would actually be a great signing for them. I would assume this is a one year deal if they got him probably. Although I would argue maybe this should be a two or three year deal. I know Kendall Wright is probably a one year deal. I didn't see. I couldn't find any of the uh, the details on this contract, years, money, all that stuff. Cheryl's is obviously on a one-year deal. Don't know the money there yet. But I will be coming with a draft video pretty soon here. And until then, I will bid you adieu.